What's up, everybody? It's your boy Melvin here in our, for another review. Yeah, <sighs> this is gonna be like a quick one because I'm feeling sleepy right now. But yeah, today I'm gonna do an update on the trailer of Mandalorian season three. This time from D23 that came out a week ago. Oh boy, we got a lot of things to discuss. But before we begin. Did you just did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell? If so, what are you waiting for? You want to join the clan? You better, or you'll be a loner for the rest of your life. Now, last time I did a review on the Mandalorian season three it was from the one from from Star Wars Day. And it wasn't in good quality because it was actually recorded from somebody's phone. Now we gotta get a good picture of it, but there were some changes that we never seen before, which I will discuss right now. Then first is the opening. We get to see if you're never from season one. We get to see the first encounter of Grogu and and, and the Mandalorian. Then we get then we get another scene of them on the you know the. On the ship boat now, well, be narrated by the armorer telling the story. Now, father and son, now they're a clan of two, but and also he's no longer Mandalorian because what he because he removed his helmet. Then we got the scene to a space battle, looks like he's fighting against I don't know what, and also we did not know this. He has an astromech droid on him as well. Not just any astromech. R4. If you don't remember R4, he was the red astromech droid that the Lars family always bought before R2 sabotaged it. <laughs> Since then, he's been the owner of this, the mechanic, the, the mechanic from that, you know. Sold Mando his Naboo Starfighter from both seasons and also the Book of Boba Fett. Heck, no, that's that's all the same. Which is actually pretty cool to see R4. I thought that you know, that little spot, the war game, oh, it does work. Then we get to see other scenes where we get to see other Mandalorians as well. Looks like he, like the convert that Bogotan was forming to reclaim Mandalore. And also we get to see Mandal return to Navarre. I think that's the name, but yeah. But this is getting good because we also see his encounter with Bo Katan, which, if you recall, she does not look happy to see him because she's still pissed. And most people say that she's actually sitting in the throne room in Mandalore. Because even the ER, ER detect of the entrance to the front room, we're going to see the drapes of the symbol of the, of the Night Owls. And also, we get. The, during the trailer, we're doing like a... We get to see a familiar face. I don't know if this is him. We saw Babu Frick. If you know who Babu Frick is, he's that character... The little guy from from episode 9 from The Rise of Skywalker. The one who had to reprogram C-3PO. You know. But hey! <laughs> yeah, that guy. I don't know if that's him or another species of him, but if it's him, and remember, this is before episode 9, 8, and 7, so this is before The Force Awakens, so are we going to, uh, what's the name of this one, Jabin, I think? This would be pretty cool, actually, but yeah, this has to be pretty interesting seeing him again. We also see that Mando's passing like some city and fireworks, which, what's going on? That's quite interesting. And also, 
We get to see other clips with ma other Mandalorians, but yeah. Which I think they're not all there with, you know, with the, you know, the way of the Mandalore or bo sect. That's something I don't know. <laughs> but still, I'm actually hyped for seeing Mandalorian's Dream, but it's also coming out next year, in January, because this year, Andor and Star Wars Tales of the Jedi is coming out, and next year will be The Mandalorian and The Bad Batch, coming out in January, so yeah. This is going to be pretty cool, and pretty good, actually. And also, we got a clip to see Mando arriving at Mandalore. What's left of it? You know the like the ruins of the you know the dome, the big dome. <laughs> if you recall, if you remember the dome, it has inside the city. Whereas you, I get recognized by the architect. You know, it's weird. But yeah, if you recall, <sighs> sorry, it's all the same. <laughs> he has to find the the ancient water to become a Mandalorian again because remember he took his helmet off. But yeah, this will be pretty interesting. The other thing I remember is this is gonna be a good season. I'm pretty hyped for it. But yeah, let me know what you think of the. Trailer for season three of Ma the Mandalorian. If are you hyped for it? And for me, I'm quite hyped because come on, how long since we didn't see the Mandalorian from the last time? Like back in 2019, it's been a while. So, and yes, we've seen him in the Book of Boba Fett, but we, yeah, we didn't see him much of him. Only in the last, I think the last three episodes. I think yeah, the last three episodes of the Book of Boba Fett. But yeah, let me know what you think of the of the trailer, and comment down below of what you think of the episodes. Uh, I mean the season from the D twenty twenty three trailer. Are you hyped? Are you ready? For me, hell yeah. <laughs> and also, I want to know if this is this is this Babel Frick or another species of his. If it is Babel Frick. I think we're going to get some more backstory of him before the Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> and also, it looks like Mando is now using R5 as his astromech, which is pretty cool. I don't know that he's using him, but I do see a scene where he's talking to the, the, the mechanic from Tatooine, which R4... I don't know what... Okay, I don't know what R4 doing. It looks like he's blown another few again. Not This time from the, one of his panels. Oh boy. I don't know what the R2 did to him, but hey. But, until then, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, subscribe, hit the bell, and also like this video. That'll be great for us. And I'll see you next time. Peace and love. Check you later.